Namaskar, uh, good afternoon, uh, and good morning, wherever you are. And uh, thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, this is uh, uh, the series of our Samaj Sarkar Bazaar webinar. This is the third and final webinar. Uh, and I think a lot of you have been part of our journey. So thank you for you know, being, uh, being supportive and being part of this journey. Uh, so from systems to ecosystems, I think uh, that's the kind of theme I want to talk about. Uh, and I think what I do is rather than talk about broad strategy and what, uh, you know, how it works, talk about a few stories. Uh, one of the most, you know, interesting thing about last five years in this development sector for me has been just going to the field and talking to people and seeing how they experience and emote uh, with various things uh, which are happening around us. So, uh, so first is a quote by, uh, next slide please. So this is uh, uh, Steve Jobs. Technology is nothing. What is important is that you have a faith in people, that they're basically good and smart. And if you give them tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. This really uh, rings true with the kind of work we do as a mission. Sometimes sitting in Bangalore, you know, we can lose sight of the, the actual human beings in behind this technology, in front of this technology, who are actually using it and are, are being impacted by this. Uh, and I think user experience is a very, very, sometimes uh, dehumanizing word is really how, how, how users feel, right? So I think uh, I'll tell you four stories uh, from the field and then after that uh, related back to you know, what we're doing. So first story is uh, this young girl, Adi Lakshmi. She is a part of a self-help group in Chirala, which is a small town of 80,000 people in coastal Andhra Pradesh. And, and she's a community volunteer. She raises issues on service delivery and everything on behalf of community. And this was April 2018, a hot day, and we are uh, talking to people uh, in the self-help group. And we happened to mention that we have built this app called Pura Seva uh, for raising complaints. And she gets really excited and she starts talking about how, you know, three days ago, the train she is standing next to, which cl looks clean now, was overflowing with sewage. And she actually uh, was very worried because last year, two people died because of dengue, uh, because of the same situation. So she raises a complaint and, uh, you know, in a over of uh, 10 hours, the commissioner personally either called her or SMSed her saying, really asking about the progress. And this was fixed in 12 hours. So this was a beautiful moment, you know, that a young uh, girl who's a volunteer can actually be connected, have the access and feel empowered that she can actually contribute to the community. Second story is from, from Punjab. You know, uh, this is, uh, Subhash, uh, he's a revenue officer in Zirakpur, a, a small industrial town next to Chandigarh. And we were talking to him about how his day is. And he said, half of his day is spent in this godown where all the land records and the property tax records are, are, are there. And whenever a citizen comes and he asks for an old record, they have to come in there and, and search for it. And he made this comment, ki mera jo cousin hai, wo taxi chala hai, par uske paas bhi app hai. It's almost that he felt he was being left behind you know, that he's still in 20th century where the world has moved on. And it's very interesting, you know, sometimes we see, you know, we see government as inefficient, old fashioned, but the aspirations of individuals who work there are very similar. You know, they also want ERPs. They also, you know, want to have automation. They also want to do a good job. Uh, next slide, please. This is a phone conversation. This is very recent. We're doing a survey of the uh, recently with the Punjab government, we did a, a WhatsApp chatbot for citizens to uh, submit complaints. And now soon they'll be able to pay their, uh, uh, you know, bills also uh, through, through WhatsApp. And we're talking to this, uh, you know, uh, lady, Niru, and uh, she said, yeah, it was easy to do it. You know, uh, yeah, they still took a three days to solve it. Uh, but I, you know, it's very, and she made an interesting comment with uh, kind of, kind of hit home, said, but it's good. Government is finally on my WhatsApp contact list. Now we all know we have this family, you know, locality, uh, building, WhatsApp groups, a lot of interactions happen. For somebody to say government is on my WhatsApp list is a, it's almost like there's a nearness to the government because sometimes we think government and citizen is slightly removed from each other. And there's almost like a sense of friction. Whereas when you put something in the context that the citizen is already in, she already uses WhatsApp uh, very, very regularly. And she can do what she has to do to, to transact with government through WhatsApp. 
this creates a new kind of a uh, dynam uh, dynamic between the government and the, and the and the citizen i won't say it's intimate but at least there's a closeness there's a feeling of access there's a feeling of i can talk to my government which is quite powerful in my mind final story is actually uh, of a administrator uh, this is uh, mr shrikant uh, again a small town in andhra pradesh eluru and we walked into his office very hot afternoon in august 2018 and we wanted to check with him how things are going how is your system and i'm sitting across this table where he is uh, where you see him now and uh, he's just every 30 seconds looks at his uh, tablet and you know doing things sometimes he's smirking sometimes he's smiling sometimes he's frowning i'm saying you know what's happening uh, is it another day where you sit in a government uh, officials office and you waste time and i kind of politely ask him sir uh, what is on your uh, tab she said come around come around so he's actually looking at a list of all the black spots in real time and he's assigning it to sanitation officers to fix it so i think the words he used was i can respond i'm in control you know i know what is happening because a lot of times we assume government is in a position of power but a lot of times because of lack of tools lack of capacity lack of data you know even commissioners are really struggling to make sense out of it so this has really you know made us think very hard you know some of these experiences uh, collectively we've had over last you know so many years that what is the role we should play what is the role technology plays what is the role other actors need to play and how do we solve this problem you know at scale uh, because just i mean for a long time we we assume that technology can solve a lot of the problems but i think sometimes what our awareness has built over the last few years is really unless a lot of actors come together and we play a role of really a uh, almost like a digital public good a kind of a railroad or a or a or a enabler and then their capacity and their own context come into play to solve problems that's when real magic happens next slide please so this is what the construct looks like which is basically very simple you know to solve large societal problems which are by nature complex and a uh, country like india is you know Uh, very very complex. It's, it's a subcontinent, you know, in more than 23 languages, you know, uh, more than 4,400 towns and cities, more than 32 crore people living there. Uh, so I think we did a lot of work with Sarkar in our earlier early, earlier years, you know, uh, building systems for them. Uh, uh, of late, done a lot of work with Bazaar in terms of really getting them to participate and build on top of the platform. I think we believe the unless the all three elements. Of 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 a societal change come together, which is Samaj, Sarkar, and Bazaar, and this is Rohini's uh, term, and she she'll be talking about this later. And unless they all have in their own context ability to solve problems enabled by some kind of a technology, and Pramod spoke about this yesterday, that solving is is subscale. You can solve a point solution, but you can't solve a large problem unless you distribute the ability to solve. You know, you cannot really scale this. so i think over last two and a half or so years we have really actively engaged with all the actors to see how it can come together to kind of uh, you know make a different scale and that reflects in our our our, our business model operating model next slide please <clears throat> so this is a very simple depiction of you know uh, uh, how it looks like so at the at the foundation of this is a foundational digital platform which is basically open source it's like a public good accessible to all without any restrictions through open apis uh, you know uh, through uh, through a lot of tools and uh, you know uh, knowledge assets which are available and this really helps deliver services at scale okay so that's the first part and it's a very important part because unless you have that you can't really do things at scale uh, second is what we call co creation ecosystem where ecosystem actors from samaj sarkar and bazaar come together to solve problems now our role here is to actually be an enabler or be a catalyst or you know be a connector uh, you know but not to overtly get involved in doing things because i think uh, the the contexts are so different unless people who are really into that context work on it the problem will not be solved so we kind of see our role as more as a enhancing the capacities of actors in some ways to leverage the digital platform and then really uh, you know they come together the last part of it is uh, where the rubber hits the road where programs 
and uh, you know things get delivered to citizens which help, helps you know ease their living or build capacity and these are impact programs so they could be government run programs like i give you example of punjab and andhra pradesh they they are state wide programs they could be programs run by central government at times which is programs like you know uh, in northeast uh, delivering uh, uh, building plan certificates for six states uh, online or they could be programs driven by uh, actors in the uh, ngos for example you know uh, kuldeep is here we are working with reap benefit uh, we are working with uh, sanjay sikhia in punjab to see how they can amplify this is all about amplification how do you amplify the you know the, the impact by uh, you know joining forces and this is about real teamwork uh, in, the, in uh, from a cooperation point of view next slide please so this is the you know this is our mission uh, you know catalyze urban transformation and enhance ease of living by embedding an open digital infra to improve governance in all 4400 towns and cities uh, two words i want to kind of uh, emphasize catalyze you know this is something this is not a mission of one organization or three organization or five organizations can do this is something all these three actors have to come together in various contexts to kind of uh, you know do the work and that means our role as a mission is more a enabling role more a role of connector more a role of, role of catalyst and that's what it means by catalyzing second thing is ease of living uh, sometimes when you work in with government because government is the biggest service delivery arm a uh, lot of your energy can be sucked into solving their problems i think philosophically what we believe is unless the work which is happening whether samaj sarkar or bazaar unless that leads to you know ease of living getting better unless it leads to better cities unless it leads to participative cities unless it leads to you know ease of access unless it leads to equity we are not doing our job so my uh, kind of uh, appeal uh, to the uh, you know people from this sector in 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 uh, in, uh, in samaj is to really join forces and work as a team and help us you know design things which can really make impact in communities because we are good at scale but we are not good at context i think context is people who work in communities day in and day out they know much better and i think if you can bring that context into the you know uh, the the ecosystem then it can really uh, you know help us solve problems at scale so i look forward to you know working with lots of you in 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 coming months and years and thank you very much for listening in and over to you adi